Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sadia and today I'm going to be testing out the brand new P. Louise Cut Carver against Vaseline. Um, I created this look today and I thought it would be a perfect time to try these out. So on this side I use Vaseline, on this side I use the P. Louise Cut Carver. Um, also this look I have recorded, I just thought I'd use it for this video as well. Um, I don't know which will be which but if it is I'll link it down below and whatever. But yeah, this video I tested out the Cut Carver, I've shown you each side what it was like and um, yeah, let's get on with the video. All right, I'm gonna quickly test out the, what am I doing? The brand new Cut Carver from P. Louise. I'm doing this really quite roughly because I remembered, like I'm doing this completely different look, but I thought, oh, here's a perfect time because obviously I want to do a cut crease to test out the Vaseline and the brand new P. Louise Cut Creaser because, or oh, Cut Carver, sorry. Um, I just feel like this might just be a knockoff version of Vaseline. So I really like the Vaseline version. I think if you're very careful with it and just keep on practicing, you can nail it. Um, I apologize for my background, I haven't put my thing on yet. But yeah, I like to use a P. Louise 707 2 brush. I love this brush so much. I use this brush for everything, carbon underneath the brows, cut in the crease, you name it, love it. Um, so as you can see, I've got my own little Vaseline that I use. So I've used this using blood money. I'm just gonna do a nice Christmassy look today. But I'm gonna quickly test this out. So what I'll do, I'll cut this crease, come off camera, do this other side, and I'll come back and then I'll give you my final results. But I'm quite intrigued. I got that in the um, Black Friday budget box, so I'm quite happy because I thought about buying it and I was like, no, I'm not gonna spend 50 quid on Vaseline basically, but I got it anyway. So definitely a good testing out video. So I have coated my brush with Vaseline. I'm just going to quickly cut the crease. So just when I'm sort of happy where I like the shape, I will then grab a cotton bird and just remove the excess. with that shape actually but I also don't care because I just want to get a look over and done with. I haven't shown sat down in ages to do makeup and I finally have the time. So yeah don't fret obviously Vaseline will remove makeup but it's more just to just remove some excess so this will look so much better when you actually like put concealer down or whatever you use like I use blank canvas it'll look so much better so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna quickly carry on doing my makeup and when I come onto this side, I'll be right back. All right, I've done the other side very, very messily actually, and I'm not normally this messy. Um, so yeah, this is what the Cut Carver packaging looks like. Very, very pretty, very, very P. Louise, in this cute little love heart. I wish it sort of came with like a little brush to actually do this with. Um, but never mind. It actually recommends a 7072 brush and scoop a small amount onto the carver onto the mixing palette for personal use. Uh, use on the back of the hand, coast the bristles, the brush, the product and stencil onto your lid into the shape you want to create. Wipe away with a clean space to layer the PVS paint or base. To wipe away the remains of the cut car, the product simply remove the product from your lid by using a non PC makeup wiper on the index finger or a spatula. Extract from along the product buildup that is no longer needed. Um, so I'm just going to basically do it exactly the same way as I do with the Vaseline. Um, I don't know how I feel about this packaging. I'm just not like a girly girl. I like pretty stuff, but this is a bit too girly for me. But I understand a lot of people love P. Louise aesthetic, which I do at the same time, but I don't at the same time, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, so I'll give it a go. It says it has coconut oil in there, so it smells literally like shea butter. And coconut, oh, that's a very unique plane. Sorry, I see all those army planes that come past. Yeah, literally like, Shea butter and coconut. Very, very nice. Mm, quite nice, actually. Right, let's untie this. So I'm going to use exactly the same brush that I used for my Vaseline. I've wiped it off. You get a really, really decent amount in there. I mean, like, that is full to the brim, almost. So I'm just going to get some off. I'm very intrigued. Should we say that much? I feel like nothing's coming off my brush, but it is, if that makes any sense. Right, just have a go. Right, I'm just going to carve out my crease. 
oh yeah it's very um yeah um how can i describe that much more slippery than vaseline wow that's very strange it's a lot more wet really a lot more wet That was quite nice and easy so i'm just gonna grab a i won't use like a wipe or whatever i can't be asked i just get my cotton bag and i just take the excess off i went she like released this i was literally like oh, wow this is like a money grabber i mean how can she like not how can she get away with this and not people think like that is just Vaseline that she's messing about with but um I think I'm a bit defeated actually on my opinion wow I am so annoyed by that little bit of my why is this eyeshadow going patchy I've never had this before oh it's because my eyes are dry that's why and you can see it's just in that specific area because I am dry there so I don't know why that, that was very easy they're not the same, but also I couldn't care. Um, I'll clean it up with a blank canvas anyway, but that was a lot easier than Vaseline. But I'm gonna quickly finish this eye look and I'm gonna come back and give you my final thought and review. You've seen what it's like, but I'll definitely talk it through you when I've finished. Okay, so here's the finished look. Um, like I said in the beginning of the video, I have recorded this, so I will just link it, but I love limelight in my waterline. It's just so good. Why is she discontinuing this? Like, oof. I mean, what can top this? It's amazing. So for starters, this is actually worth £15. £15 or £14, I can't remember. And I mean, like, Vaseline's actually a couple of quid. You can buy smaller tubs in like this and it lasts you forever. Um, my final thoughts is, is that I really enjoyed it. Um, it was much more smoother. You could really see that as soon as it, like, went onto the lid, you can see the oil coming through and really breaking it down a lot easier than the Vaseline. It glided so much better. I even feel like the Vaseline, um, the cut carver came off easier with the cotton bud. Whereas I feel like in the Vaseline it drags even more. So that probably makes it a little bit more harder to make it a clean line. Which I can definitely see that I had a way smoother line on this side than that side. Not a huge difference, but I thoroughly enjoyed this. It smells great. And it's really weird because you're putting it on the brush and it doesn't look like a lot. And even on the brush it still looks quite tough and hard. But on, literally as it went on the lid... It glided on, it broke the makeup down so much more. I didn't use as much as I needed to with Vaseline. I mean, yes, if you're on a budget, go for the Vaseline. It still works, you know, P. Louise still done it, but I'm a bit defeated and I'm a bit gutted that this has won because I was like, this is gonna be shit, this ain't gonna be worth it, this is overpriced Vaseline, and it has proven me wrong 100%. I'm really glad I got this. Um, yeah. I'm going to be using this a lot. I found this so much easier to use. So final thoughts, if you ain't got this, get it. So sorry if it's really a bit short and sweet video, but I just thought I'd do a quick one while I was here. And I really hope you enjoyed it. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It would help me out a lot. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.